Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're on this uh, beautiful cat Nirvana, and uh, we look, we've done the solar on here, the first phase of the solar. We're just going to show you something. So we've got the solar running now. Battery's 100%. I can't get as much power out of it today because the batteries are so full. But the, this is our copper flex panels, 600 watts, and we just had a look at this yesterday. We've got 712 watts off the 600 watt panels. Uh, just crazy. And then that's our maximum PV, so we're coming off the roof at 137 volts. And uh, just to show that it's not a not a trick, we go and look on the other side of the boat on the daily history. And uh, what did we get off it? 705 watts. So let's go up and have a look at the panels. Nice and wi nice and windy up here today. So uh, here are the panels here laid out. We got 600 watts on either side. Let's have a look at the DC to DCs. And this is part of the reason for the high performance. These are our DC to DCs for solar. So all of the solar panels on each side are connected up to the DC to DCs. They're in the string coming back down. So any shading at all uh, has no effect on the whole string, just affects the one panel. Let's have a look at the solar controllers. Solar controllers and the PV breakers are in the locker here. Now they're some distance from the batteries, but because the battery's on CAN bus and these controllers are reading off the CAN, the output performance of these, which is on the top deck, is perfect to the batteries, which is on the lower deck. It's probably a 10 metre run at least. Uh, there's, that the controllers will increase their output voltage to match the battery voltage that's required based on what it's reading on the can. So it's a digital reading of the battery and then the solar adjusts for it. And that's the other reason why we get such good performance. And finally, here are the batteries, and it's a bit of a work in progress. So you can see them over here. We've got all together uh, 12, uh, that's 200 amp hour equivalent batteries here. So that's 1200 amp hours of lithium at 12 volts, although these are all at 48, and they're all on the can. We're ending this video with quite a technical uh, view of the solar and energy analysis. And it's uh, just after 7.30 in the morning here. The solar is uh, just keeping up with the AC loads here. Not a very uh, high result because it is overcast and muggy here. It's, uh, it's a very, very poor solar day. But let's have a look at the history because that's uh, why we're uh, doing in the analysis. And uh, so the glass panel we haven't installed yet. It's going on the back. We're putting 2,000 watts on the back on the aft. Um, but here are the two decks. And both of these are covered with, uh, uh, with the boom and with the mast. Now the sail's down at the moment, but as the sun swings over, it's running shadows over both of these uh, solar arrays. And then you've got the mast and all the rigging. So let's just have a look at this uh, yesterday. This is the starboard side. We go into the daily history. Uh, that's today, and there's yesterday. And uh, there's a peak there of 646 watts. Yes, that is a good number. Um, but there are other numbers here that are more interesting, uh, uh, and that is firstly the total uh, time here, 13 hours 17, uh, in the summer is good. We normally get this up to 14, it can be as high as 14, but I'd say other boats around here and other buildings have, uh, have curtailed this a little bit, but uh, that's an early start, late finish. You only get that off a of high voltage, and you can see the voltage we had here was a VOC max of 139. And uh, to get that really early start, late finish, this, uh, I like to have this uh, over 100 volts. Now that's not the V max. That's not the sorry. That's not the V um, uh, MP, the the, the optimum uh, power point uh, voltage. That's the, the max VOC. But here's the top number is the most interesting number, and that is uh, the 2.08 kilowatt hours. And so we work on a muggy, cloudy, average sort of uh, day here in Queensland. I work on 55% over six hours in the summer and five in the winter. And I just did the maths and it's um, within a whisker of that. So, uh, so we take the 600 watts, uh, 646, multiply it by 55%, uh, multiply it by uh, six hours. And I think you'll find it's very, very close to the 2.08 kilowatt hours. So that's the important number. And so on this boat, there's gonna be two lots of those, that's four. And then we're gonna have the back deck, which is 2000 watts. will yield something like five to five and a half uh, kilowatt hours off the 2000 uh, glass. And uh, we'll do a separate video on that. 
Now, just to show that uh, this isn't uh, just a very magic single side, let's go and look at the uh, let's go and look at the port deck. Port deck's a little bit higher now, but on average, it uh, it gets uh, a lot more uh, shading and just the angle of the boat. So there it is. It's uh, 1.94, a fraction less than 593 watts. So that's a, that's the 600 uh, watt. Uh, array on that side, uh, very similar uh, uh, VMAX here, 141, and um, uh, very similar result. So uh, they're on the other side of the boat, but uh, that's quite a good uh, yield. So uh, overall, you'll see now that uh, the result of this copper flex, it's bonded straight down onto the deck. It's got a, a copper sheet on the back, and that takes the heat out. It's only 1.7 millimetres thick. The previous ones we had were three, so we've gone thinner, and uh, which is a bit counterintuitive. You'd think that would make it weaker, but the uh, copper sheet in there makes it, in fact, stronger. So I've gone for a more flexible sheet. So, so in summary, these are the three things that give an outstanding result. The copper flex panel with the copper sheet takes the heat out, goes straight down on the deck, and uh, is uh, very flat. The second thing is the DC to DC for solar which counteracts shading. It also counteracts uh, uh, panels of different uh, size, so we can actually mix 100, 140, 60s and 70 uh, together, and we're doing that on the uh, sailing boat going around Antarctica at the moment. And then finally, the CAN bus lithium, the magic in that is it's broadcasting a desired voltage uh, quite some distance, so you absolutely get the perfect uh, charge parameters, and uh, that gives maximum solar yield. And finally, acknowledgement to AC Marine, Harold and Dick, and uh, Cameron Chalmers at Safari for an excellent uh, job uh, with the solar. Thank you. How good is that?